now the next application is and this is the number of onto functions now let's start with the number of onto functions so do you remember what is a onto function if you have a function from set a to set b then when when will you uh, when will you say that f is onto onto function or i can say surjective surjective or i can say surjection so what is the definition of surjective surjection function the definition is basically every element of b has at least one pre image yes or no so this is the definition that for all elements for all elements in b every element of b has some pre image there exist an element in a there exist an element in a such that fx is equal to y okay so for every element there should be a pre image so i can say for every element of b there exist a pre image there exist at least one pre image okay so this is the simple idea means every element must be covered so if you have this this is your set b this is your set uh, so this is the set b this is the set a now this is the function f then we will call it this function f we will call it on to this function f will be called on to if every element if these are the element then every element has at least one pre image okay every element must have at least one pre image so whatever element you take that element must have at least one pre image so this would be the scenario okay now let's see the first question the question number 1 the number of onto functions how many onto functions are there from set x to set y so from these are the four elements these are the two elements so from a four element set to a two element set how many onto functions are there so how will we find out how to find out how many onto functions are there means every element must be covered remember every element must be covered so this is your function your function is from set x which is 1 2 3 4 from this set x to this set y to this set y which is a comma b now we want to find out how many onto functions are there then what we need to do so number of onto functions number of onto functions so number of onto functions that will be what number of onto functions will be number of total functions minus minus not onto minus i can say not onto yes or no so this is the idea i can say number of onto function that is equal to number of total functions total number of functions minus which are not onto and what is the meaning of not onto so tell me what is the meaning of not onto not onto means not onto means for example i can say that a does not have pre image i can say a does not have pre image or b does not have pre image either a does not have pre image or b does not have pre image what this means what this means this means that this means that a does not have pre image it means a does not have pre image it means a does not have pre image and what this means this means b does not have pre image so this is the idea okay so number of onto function what that will be that will be total number of function minus a does not have pre image or b does not have pre image because not onto not onto means either a does not have pre image or b does not have pre image this is the total number of onto function so what will be the tell me now what we have to find out what is total can anyone tell me what is the total number of function total number of function that will be 2 power 4 we already know that will be 2 power 4 so what we have to find out what we have to find out we have to find out that from this set 1 2 3 4 from this set to this set how many functions are there such that a does not have any pre image so this is what we have to find out we have to find out a does not have pre image or b does not have pre image okay yes or no agree so this is the definition of not onto not onto means either a does not have pre image or b does not have pre image so i can say this is the idea a uh, so what that will be this will be the a does not have pre image plus b does not have pre image and minus minus when a does not have pre image and b does not have pre image right so this will be the idea yes or no idea is very simple when a does not have pre image how many functions are there how many functions where a does not have pre image so if a does not have pre image then all the all the elements they map to b 
then the answer will be one because all the elements will map to b because what will happen all the elements one two three four all the elements they will map to b they will map to b b does not have pre image how many again one power four means one because all the elements will map to a every element if you notice that will map to a and how many where a does not have pre image and b does not have pre image a does not have pre image and b does not have pre image this is not possible this is not possible so that will be zero because this is not possible so now finally i can say that this value is finally that is two okay so what will be the final answer number of onto function what that will be so from here i can say number of onto function that will be 2 power 4 minus 2 and that will be 14 total 14 onto functions are there yes or no so basically total 14 functions are there and these two functions which are these two functions these two functions are like this where you have 1 2 3 4 a b and he, in this everything is mapping to b everything is mapping to b or everything is mapping to a 1 2 3 4 a b and everything is mapping to a so this is what we are removing this these these are because this is not onto you can clearly see this function is not onto and this function is also not onto correct so answer will be 2 power 4 minus 2 that is 14 14 functions are onto yes or no is this clear to everyone how we are doing the inclusion exclusion principle now let's solve this gate 2015 question so what will be the answer for this the number of onto function we want from four element set to a three element set this is what we want so the idea is same you want function from four element set there are four elements okay from this set to this set and you want to find how many onto functions are there number of onto functions so that will be total number of functions minus functions which are not onto minus functions which are not onto now what is total number of function that tell me what is total number of function from four element set to three element set the total number of function will be three power four that will be three power four okay now minus what will be on not onto function not onto function means either a does not have any premise or b does not have any premise or c does not have any premise this is the idea okay now what so remember what this means remember what this means this means a does not have any premise a does not have pre image okay so this is the idea a does not have premise and what this means what this means this means b does not have premise so he, this means b does not have b does not have any pre image and the same thing will for c similarly for c so c does not have pre image no pre image of c no pre image for c okay so this is the idea now what will you do see this this you already have so you have to calculate this this for uh, this value you have to calculate you have to calculate this is a, a does not have any premise or b does not have any premise or c does not have any pre image so what that will be that will be very okay you can apply the inclusion exclusion principle so here you can apply inclusion exclusion principle because we have union we are finding union of three set okay so that will be a does not have any premise plus b does not have any premise plus c does not have any premise minus a does not have any premise and b does not have any premise minus a does not have any premise c does not have any premise minus b does not have any premise c does not have any premise and plus a does not have any premise b does not have any premise c does not have any premise so this will be the answer now you tell me are all these same all of them are they same are they same are all of them same yes they will be basically same because what is this what is this a does not have any pre image how many functions we have how many functions we have where a does not have any pre image how many functions are there where so remember 
we are finding the functions 1 2 3 4 from this set to this set how many functions are there where a does not have any premise this is what we want okay so it means that 1 2 3 4 a b c and remember a should not have any premise so every every element should map to b comma c every element should map to b comma c okay no element should map to a every element should map to b comma c so for every element you have two choices for this element you have two choices because it can map to b or it can map to c for this element we have two choices because this can map to b this can map to c for this element we have two choices this can map to b or this can map to c for this element we have two choices this can map to b or this can map to c so finally how many such functions we have so this means number of functions it simply means number of functions in which a does not have preimage number of functions in which a does not have preimage okay so this is the idea this is the number of function so that will be 2 power 4 because a does not have any preimage yes or no is this clear very simple so because here a does not have any preimage similarly if i ask you if i ask you what is a a bar c bar what this means this means what this means this means those functions where a comma c do not have any preimage this means where a comma c both do not have any do not have preimage do not have preimage so it means every element has how many choices remember a comma c they do not have any preimage so every element has only one choice every element has only one choice every element should map to b so every element should map to b so there is only one way okay so because one power four or i can say one so this is the answer i can say this will be all these will be same and that will be two power four and similarly all these will be same all of them will be same all of them will be same and they will be one okay and what this will be can anyone tell me what this will be this will be zero because such function is not possible there is no such function such, fun such function is not possible you cannot create such function there is no such function we do not have any such function okay so that is the idea this function is not possible so finally answer will be so the answer will be like this that will be 3 multiplied by so 3 multiplied by 2 power 4 minus 3 multiplied by 1 and plus 0 so the what will be the answer i think it will be 45 right now final answer will be remember final answer what final answer will be final answer will be because number of onto function we want so number of onto function will be total minus total minus a does not have any premise or b does not have any premise or c does not have any premise so total will be 3 power 4 minus this value 45 okay so total will be this so the final answer number of onto function will be this so if i ask you number of onto function that will be this and if i ask you number of not onto function remember this is number of not onto function this is number of not onto functions these are the not onto functions okay so if they ask you remember if they ask you not onto function the answer will be 45 if they ask you not onto function so remember this is the answer for this is the answer for not on number of not onto function and because the question is asking number of onto function so that will be 81 minus 45 this will be the final answer okay so this is very simple inclusion exclusion principle you are using is this clear to everyone anyone has any doubt in this try this question the question is saying that how many ways are there to assign five different jobs you want to assign five different jobs there are five different jobs to four different employees there are four different employees such that every employee is assigned at least one job okay every employee should get at least one job this question you can solve in two ways what is the method number one what is the method number one see there are five different jobs and you have four different employees so these are the employees 
these are the employees employees are let's assume a b c d these are the employees then everyone should get at least one job so uh, one job him one job to him one job to him one job to him okay this is different jobs and different employees this is dodb this is dodb this is the dodb template so there are four there are four employees you should give everyone you should give at least one job and there are five different jobs so one job is remaining one job is remaining so how many ways to give one job tell me one job is remaining how many ways to give one job so there are four ways because what you can do okay there are four ways the one job is remaining so there are four there are four ways what you can do you can give this one job to him or you can give this one job to him or you can give this extra job to uh, c or you can give this extra job to d so there are four ways tell me is the answer for every case same will they give you same answer will this give you answer x then this will give you answer x answer x answer x all will give you answer x yes or no so what will be the final answer so what is going to be the final answer that will be 4x the final answer will be 4x because for every case the answer will be same so tell me what is x just find out this x you find out so a has two job b has uh, okay so this is the idea so what will be the answer this answer for this because remember a should have two job so there are five job you select two for a you select two for a for a you select two job okay the okay from the remaining three job you select one for b you select one for b from the remaining two job you select one for c and for the from the remaining you select 14d so what will be the answer 5c2 okay so this is the idea i can say there are total five job you give or i can you can also apply the direct formula if you want this is dodb this is dodb so if you want you can apply the direct formula also the direct formula is total five jobs are there so that will be 2 factorial 1 factorial power 3 okay so you can apply the direct formula or you can solve like this or you can solve uh, so the same answer you will get so this 5 c2 this will be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial 3 factorial this will be 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial 1 factorial okay and this will be 2 factorial divided by 1 factorial 1 factorial and so on so if you notice you, they will cancel out these will cancel out so both are giving you same answer so the answer that you will get get is the same so that will be 60 okay so final answer will be what that will be 4 multiplied by 60 and that will be 240 this will be the final answer this is your dodb template if you notice so very simple now let's solve the same question can be solved by using inclusion exclusion principle the same question let's solve it by inclusion exclusion principle so let's this is the method 2 method 2 is inclusion exclusion principle okay so this will be like this basically there are total five different jobs you have and you want to assign them to four people so it is like this there are five people here total five jobs you have 1 2 3 4 5 these are the five jobs and these are the four people a b c d so basically what you want to find out can anyone tell me you want to assign these jobs tell me one job will go to how many is this question about function like is this question creating a function creating a function from jobs to people from jobs to employee is this question creating a function like every job is it is it going to exactly one or uh, more than one yes it is creating a function every job is going to exactly one every job is going to exactly one every job is going to exactly one it is not happening like this this type of situation is not happening so this is creating a function i can say this is create this is basically creating a function basically this is on to function this is on to this is on to because everyone should get at least one job so this is on to every employee should get at least one job so this is on to also this is function also you can notice this is function this is function also on to also okay so this is the idea so how many on to functions are there this is what we need to do you have five different jobs 
you have five different jobs only four people so one employee will dip and everyone should get at least one job everyone should get at least one job so this one person will definitely have two jobs this is on to because everyone should get at least one job so because of this this is on to and this is a function because one job should go to one person once one job cannot go to why this is a function why this is a function the reason is one job goes to one person one job goes to exactly one person exactly one person one job goes to exactly one person yes or no any job you take that will go to exactly one person like this job will go to exactly one person this job will go to exactly one person this job will go to exactly one person so this is a function also this is onto also so we have to count the number of onto functions okay but remember if you want to count the number of onto function then what you have to do so basically from five element set from a five element set to a uh, to a four element set you want to count number of onto functions this is what you want to count so number of onto functions the what that will be that will be total number of functions minus number of not onto functions what is total number of functions for every job we have for every job you have four choices so that will be 4 power 5 for every job you have four choices what is not onto function a does not have any job or b does not have any job or c does not have any job or d does not have any job this will be the answer yes or no a does not have any job what this means can anyone tell me what this means this means a does not have any job a does not have any job and similarly what this means tell me what this means this means c does not have any job it means c does not have any job correct so this we already know this is 4 power 5 so we have to calculate a does not have any job or b does not have any job or c does not have any job or d does not have any job so notice that what will be the answer the answer will be when you take a single person like when you take a single person then the answer will be what so this this answer will be like this taking single person minus taking double double person okay taking single person minus taking double double person plus taking triple triple person okay minus taking four four people so this will be taking single single person so there are four ways 4c1 there are four ways multiplied by so a does not have any job then then that will be 3 power 5 a does not have any job what this will be this will be 4c2 multiplied by 2 power 5 multiplied uh, multiplied multiplied by 2 power 5 and what this will be this will be 4c3 multiplied by 1 power uh, 1 power 5 okay and this will be what this is not such function not possible such function is not possible see from where this one is coming can anyone tell me from where this one is coming can anyone tell me what this one is this one is the remaining person is getting all the jobs yes or no the remaining person is getting all the jobs so this one is coming because the the remaining person the remaining person is getting all the jobs okay so every job has been given to that one person okay so anyway what will be the answer the final answer the final answer will be so that will be 4 power 5 minus okay 4 power 5 minus this value okay whatever this value is so 4c1 multiplied by 3 power 5 minus 4c2 that is 4c2 multiplied by 2 power 5 plus 4c3 multiplied by 1 and minus such function is not possible 0. So this will be your final answer. Can you calculate? Okay, 240. And okay, so this is the method. This is the inclusion exclusion principle method. And what is the answer here? That is also 240. So both okay, 240 here also, 240 here also. Two methods we have seen. So which did you like? Which method did you like? DODB or this uh, IEP. 
so i think dodb was good right actually this you can apply in all these questions remember in this question in this gate exam question also you can apply the same method this same question let's solve using the okay this gate question let's solve using the dodb principle this is same question method 1 okay in this question this gate 2015 question let's solve it by using this is dodb yes or no can you notice this is dodb 1 2 3 4 okay assigning to abc assigning to abc is this dodb because you have different distinct these are distinct and these are also distinct these are also distinct so i can say these are distinct objects you are assigning them to distinct boxes so this is basically the dodb this is your dodb template this is the dodb template and now and now one condition is also given that everyone should get because this is on to function so everyone should get at least one job so these are the three people they should get one one job they should get one one job so tell me one job is remaining one job is remaining how many ways are there one job is remaining how many ways are there there are total how many ways total three ways because that one job you can give that one one job is remaining that one job you can give to him or you can give to him or that extra job you can give to C. Okay, so tell me, are okay all of them, are they having same answer? Will they have same answer? Will they have same answer? Yes. If this is the answer X, if this is the answer X, this is the answer X, this is the answer X. So what will be the final answer? What will be the final answer? That will be 3 multiplied by X. And now you find X. So this X you have to find. Okay, so from here, what X will be? x will be 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 1 factorial whole square so that will be what that will be 12 so the answer will be 3 into 12 so that will be 36 so what you what what you should do now can you notice okay let me know can you notice this dodb is much better right yes or no this dodb is much better this is much better than this uh, uh, for these questions for this on to function questions, the DODB template is much better. Just apply the DODB template because these are distinct objects and these are the distinct boxes. So this is a DODB template. And in this DODB template, everyone should get at least one because the question is asking on to. The question is asking on to. So everyone should get at least one. Yes or no? Very simple. So the final answer will be 36. This is your method one DODB. So this is the method one. Okay. And this is your method two. Method two is, what is method two? Method two is inclusion exclusion principle. This is method two. If you want to kind number of onto function, then that will be total functions minus not onto functions. Okay. So that will be your method two. And this is the method two. So anyway, so whichever method you like, you can apply. Two methods we have seen and the better method is DODB. Whatever you want, you can do. Okay, now let's solve this question. Actually, the same question if you notice, see this question if you notice, using inclusion exclusion principle, it will take some more time, but using you can solve this using, using what? DODB. This question you can solve using DODB very easily. You can solve this question. Five different jobs, four different employees. We have already done. And now, for example, this question, six element to three element. Here, tell me, here, which method will be better? In this question, which method will be better? In this question, you have six element, three element. Here, if you apply DODB, then what will happen? Let's try to apply DODB. So let's try to see DODB, method one DODB. Because remember you have total six elements. You want on to functions from six element to three elements. This is what you want. So let's apply DODB here. So remember, these are the three elements. Let's assume A, B, C. So these are your three elements. Everyone should get at least one. So tell me how many ways are there? Everyone should get at least one. Here, there will be many cases. There will be many variety of the cases. 
So for this question, the best method is IEP, inclusion exclusion principle. This is not good. This is not efficient for this question. This is not efficient for this question. Because they, you will have to create many cases you have, you have to create. Yes or no? This is not efficient here because you will have to create many cases. For example, this case will be created. This case will be created. This case will be created. So there will be many, many, many cases will be created and so on and so on. Okay, many cases. Many cases we need to take care. Many cases we need to take care. So this is error prone. This is error, error prone. Okay, so don't apply for this question. Is this clear to everyone? Tell me. Are you understanding for which question you should apply which method? One question can be solved by many different methods, but for different, different questions, different, different methods are good. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So not every question for every question, there is one efficient method for this question. The efficient method is inclusion exclusion principle. Okay. Is this clear? So this is not efficient. This DODB, this is not efficient for this question. So don't try this because this is error prone. You will have to create many cases you have to create. So that is the reason. So don't apply DODB for this question. Now, for this question, you can apply the inclusion exclusion principle. So basically, you have total from six element to four element. You want uh, six element to three element. You want onto function. So what that will be? That is very simple. That is total number of onto function. What that will be? Number of onto function. That will be total. That is this is the total minus not onto. Minus not onto. Not onto means, for example, you have three elements A, B, C. It simply means A does not have premise. So I can say 3C1 multiplied by 2 power 6 minus 3C2 multiplied by only 1 and plus 0. So this is very simple. Yes or no? Agree. For this, for this question, inclusion exclusion principle is very simple. 3C1, 2 power 6, 3C2, 1. Okay. And then finally 0. And this is your answer. Very simple. 3 power 6 minus 3 into 2 power 6 plus 3C2. That is 3. So this is the answer. Okay. So very so this is the complete analysis of inclusion exclusion principle.